Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about time interval. So we will draw a ladder diagram in which we will use normally open contacts, memory bits, normally closed contacts, timers like TP, TR. So let's look at the example first. Interval timer. Turn on a device for 2 seconds every 10 seconds. It means that a device should remain on for 2 seconds and then should remain off for 10 seconds and then again on for 2 seconds, off for 10 seconds, on for 2 seconds and off for 2 seconds and it should repeat. So let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for interval timer. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here I can select the device. Here is a list of different logic controllers I will be using. DM221 C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configuration. I will click on yes. So the device I'm using has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for time interval. I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode and I can also zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert one normally open contact. I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0.0. Then I will insert a coil here. I will add symbol to this normally open contact as start button. Yes. And then I will assign address to this coil as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as device. Yes. Then I will insert a timer here. I will change the type of this timer to TP time pulse. I will also change time base to second and preset value as 2. So when I turn on I 0.0 .0 device will be on for 2 seconds. So after 2 seconds it will be off but we need that it should be off for 10 seconds. So in this case we will use Normally close contacts, we will use memory bits and we will use another timer and that will be T on. So I will insert one more coil here and then I will insert another timer here. And it should be T on, preset value as 10, time base as second and then click on apply. Then I will insert one more normally closed contact here. I will assign address to this as M0 which is a memory bit and then I will assign address to the coil as M0 which is the same memory bit which we have used as input and then we will use another normally closed contact here. I will assign address to this normally closed contact as Q 
0.0, which is the device. So I will click on this option and draw a line like this. So we have completed making the ladder diagram for time interval. So when start button is turned on, device will be on for 2 seconds and then off for 10 seconds. Then again on for 2 seconds and then again off for 10 seconds. So a device is turned on for 2 seconds after every 10 seconds. So here when start button is turned on, the current will flow through it and also through the memory bit as we have used a normally closed contact here. And the current will flow through it and device will be turned on for 2 seconds as we have used a timer TP here. So it will make the device to, to be on for 2 seconds. And then After 2 seconds, the device will be turned off and when device is false, so here when it is false, the current will flow through it and when the current will flow through it, memory bit will be turned on after 10 seconds and when memory bit is true, so when here memory bit is true, the current will not flow through it and device will be off. So. For the time M0 is false, for that time device will be off. And here we have used T on and preset value is 10 seconds. So M0 will be turned on after 10 seconds. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. I will start controller to do so click OK. So I will go to programming tab and set full screen mode. So when I turn on switch uh, start button that is I 0.0 .0 device will be on for 2 seconds and then off for 10 seconds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then again on for 2 seconds then off for 10 seconds 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then on, 1, 2. Then again off. So it will repeat this process. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.